Well, tomorrow morning we're going to try to hunt in another location that we have access to. It's about 50 acres or so. It's in Leon County here in Texas. And uh, just loading some of my stuff. Got the four wheeler and some corn loaded. Um, we got a lot of hogs on camera, some deer. Hopefully, we're going to check the cameras tomorrow after we hunt in the morning. And uh, if we have any good shooter bucks, I may post them. But um, stay tuned. Um, we might have some hogs coming out. So. Might try to stick one of them. I'm gonna continue using this and some deer dander, so hopefully something will come in. Alright guys, as you can see we just pulled into the front gate right after six, sixty-eight degrees. I got the uh scent crusher going. We're out here near Jewett and um well, I'm going to pull up and spray down and get ready. We got about a three or 400 yard walk to the stand. So hopefully uh, we don't jump anything up on the way and maybe we'll get lucky this morning. It's October 9th. So this was my sit here in Jewett and uh, we're about to get down and check that arrow. It's been a little over two and a half hours since daylight when I shot, but um, this is kind of my little station I'm at. Got my bow, definitely need a thermocell, got the GoPro, you know it's got a roof, good spot to hunt when you're in some bad weather but we're about to get down and go check I I think I hit that hog really high I don't know if there's any blood on it at all but we'll walk up there in just a minute and take a peek all right so here's the feeder that's where I threw some corn this morning uh, it was literally right at 20 yards this tree is where I shot and uh, well, I'll be darn. There's blood. There is ants all over it. But there is some blood. I wonder if that's a high lung. I did not think I hit him. My knock is covered in... I guess that's just from the blood. Wow. Well... Uh, we may go get Growl, the tracking dog, and come back and take a peek. Actually, that might have been where my arrow was. Alright, well, I guess we might do a little tracking to see if we can find them. I'll never turn down back straps when I have time to get them. Alright, so there's a feeder. I just went ahead and topped off the feeder with a few bags of corn. And, uh... I think my dad and Growl are on the trail just up here. Um, so we're gonna walk up and see if found any more blood. So Growl trailed what? About four or five hundred yards to the fence line? So there's a fence line. This is a second feeder. Um, it was a high lung if that and a hog probably went half a mile to the neighbor's property at the fence and that's where we stopped but it's just a hog and not a deer so we will let him go coyote food good job growl it's a long that's a long blood trail for him to follow well not exactly what we wanted this morning but um did shoot at a hog hit high lung so Hog's probably probably dead by now, but since he went into the neighbor's property, we um, decided not to pursue him anymore. I mean, it was just a hog. If it was a doe, we would try to call the neighbors and uh, recover her or him. But um, yeah, it was a young boar, maybe in the 100 pound range. And um, well, I'll be hunting here this evening and the next couple of days. So we'll see if anything else 
comes out gives me an opportunity um, I just gotta remember uh, literally I think an inch lower and it probably would have cut both top of the lungs full but it looks like it might have just cut one or just clipped both of them on top so hopefully we'll get another shot and um, till then I guess stay tuned guys Alright guys, so we're going to be out here in Jewett again this afternoon, October 9th, and uh, the trail camera shows some pigs coming in early off and on between 5 and 6, so we could sneak up on some right now. We're going to sit at a different spot than we did this morning, so uh, we'll sneak on in there and see if we have any luck this evening. A small shower and cool front blew in overnight dropped about 10 degrees so here it is October 11th we're back in Jewett and uh, we'll see if anything comes in this morning maybe that rain will get some of these animals moving so there's a squirrel I've been watching for the last half hour. He's coming out grabbing a kernel of corn every time and taking it back about maybe 10 or 15 feet inside the brush and looks like he's burying it under an old dead log. And he just keeps going in and out every minute coming to get some corn. So that's out there at the feeder and uh, here's the inside of the blind got the bow on a hanger have to have a thermosel so it's got some burlap and there's a gap right here we could see out um, it's got burlap in the back and some wood it's got a roof so this will be good when it a little rainy weather but yeah, we've been sitting there about two and a half hours or so and I hadn't seen nothing but squirrels and I um, think we're about to get out. So stay tuned and take a look at some of the game cam pictures that we've gotten over the past couple of weeks.